Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to House Flipper. We painted the outside of our house last time and I went for stripes. And we were just going to do this house as cheaply as possible. This was kind of the idea, was to make it look like everything had been bought cheap, nothing matched. Um, the paint, I decided to go for stripes. I don't know why I went for stripes. I picked three colours that I didn't think went well together. And it certainly stands out. The house definitely stands out strongly in all directions from absolutely everywhere that you might possibly look at it. So then we come in here and we've got house plants and we've got a wonderful little corner over here. We've got uh, elegant furniture here and then we've got the rest of the house over here. We, we've got um, the, the hob there right underneath the curtains, perfect safety feature and the um, extractor offset from the hob. The wonderful colors here, the cheap nasty plastic over the windows, well in place of windows. Um, I, I just figured that we'd do that. Uh, yeah, so everything is basically cheap and fairly nasty looking. In here, I went for kind of the same effect, but it didn't come out too bad looking in here, i got to be honest. Um, it could have been worse. I mean, we, we do have that up there on there. That does look quite bad. I always find that teak colouring, the, the teak uh, laminate, always ends up looking tacky. It's kind of like a throwback to the 70s, and these days it does tend to look a little bit tacky. Uh, and we've got the bathroom in here, which is lots of strong colours and strange looking. It's just strange looking. And we have spare toilet roll and a toilet roll holder as well. It, we, we've got everything. We've got all the mod cons. So all we've got left to do is down here. Now, I've put in some lights. We've got lights and the lights are on. But what else do we do in here? I'm going to put a light up there. That's, that's going to be our very first thing that we do is we put a light up there. We're going to go for ceiling lamps and... Hmm... You know, I'm not actually sure. I'm thinking that we go for that one right there. The... Oh, we'd have got steel. All right, we go... Steel or brass. Let's go for steel. Steel up there. Now, we, we, we need to climb up here high enough so that we can put the thing in. And that one's going to go right there like that. How do I turn this one on? Well, it's not with those lights there. Uh, I need a light switch. Put a light switch on the wall there a minute. Let me do it like that. And then I want to go to installations and I want to go for a modern light switch there. It doesn't match anything else in the house. And we'll put that one right there like that. Turn on the light switch. There we go. That's lit it up a little bit better. That's, that's, that's more like it. Um, so we've got the bathroom in here. And then after that we've just got the bedroom. But we also need to do some painting. We don't have down here anywhere a... Radiator mount. We we've got nowhere to put a radiator. I don't know if you can like ins you, I don't think you can install a radiator mount either. I think you're just kind of stuck with whatever you got. So we've got this bit over here. I need to unscrew these and I can put a sink in down here. And we can also put a washing machine in and a toilet. So if I go to that one as well, we'll unscrew those. Take those off the wall. Right, so first up we're going to put the sink in down here. I need to go to bathroom for that. And we can go for a mountable sink there. Sink with cabinet. Bago, sink with cabinet, prismat. I've no idea what Bago or prismat means, whether it means anything at all. I haven't got a clue. I've got no idea about that. Uh, that one looks to be about the cheapest that we would get, so we'll put that one on there like that, and then we can assemble it. So you've got to put the bits in the wall like that, and then you've got to put these in, and that one as well. Then we can put the sink onto the wall, and everything's a lot fat. Look at the speed that this is going in. This is so much better. Being able to do it like this with the um, the bonuses that we've got with assembling. It really does make such an awesome difference being able to assemble it at this kind of speed. This is fantastic. Such a difference. Such an awesome, amazing difference. I did see on the, um, whether it was the Facebook page, developers notes or something, um... There's some new houses. They're working on some new houses, and in particular, a two-story house that they're hoping to bring in. Um, and you should be able to paint it all the way up through, because that's not something that we've been able to do at the moment. Um, and it's like you can't quite reach the top, but they're they're figuring it. They're figuring out ways to make it a little bit more easy. So we should be able to do that soon. I just I'm not quite sure when it's going to be. And I think home appliances is the one that I want. And then we want the mountable washer. Right there. That one's got to go in there. There we go. Right, so we can assemble that one. We want to take this off. So we've got to, we've got to remove the panel so that we can take out those bolts on up there. So it's these bolts that we want to take out, but we're removing the panel in order to do so. Can I do that? 
No, I can't. You got, you got, to, you got to move it round. So this one does actually go fairly slow. We take that one and we put it up there. Then we can remove these big bolts to free up the drum. One aspect of this I don't like is when you move the final one, the drum doesn't move. The drum. Oh, it did. Oh. Okay, that's actually very, very cool. It, it, uh, I don't know if they've added that in. I didn't notice it move previously. Because it does. It, the drum, when you take those bolts out, the drum will move. It would, Generally, it just kind of moves down a bit rather than doing anything else. But it moved. That's the important bit. It definitely moved. And I really like that. That is something that is very, very cool, I think. So put that one into the wall there. And then that one on there like that and do it up. And then there should be another pipe to go. There we go. There it is. Outlet goes into there. And then we can put that one... Oh, we're done. Yeah, right. That one's back into place. So that bathroom is done there. And we just need to finish the bathroom off. We've got a couple of little bits. One is we're going to paint it. And I don't know what color to paint it. Now, I normally go for a white bathroom. But upstairs, we did different colors, didn't we? we we've done all kinds of hideous colors on the walls everywhere. Is it really have with navy blue? I think we're just going to go navy blue all the way around in this bathroom. We're not, we're not going to do anything special. But navy blue all the way around, I think, is perfect. We'll go like this. There we go. I think... I, did I speed up the painting last time? I think I did. Oh, no, I didn't. I went... Um, so it does more paint for each roller. That's what I did. So I didn't... Um, so the next one we do, we'll be speeding it up. And then we'll start expanding the number of panels that we do all in one go. Take that lot there. Get you. And then... Yeah, see, if I could do three pan three panels would be pretty good. But speeding up the painting, I think, would also be equally effective. So um, it, it doesn't really matter, so long as we get one of them. We probably will get one of them if we um, boost up, if we level up. Go across there like that. And then I'm going to do... I, I don't think I actually need to worry about doing the inside here. But I may as well as we've got the paint right there. So we'll take that and... I'll do those bits under there as well. Okay, we are now done. So while we're doing paint, while we got the paintbrush out, let's go and paint the rest of this room. Um, I think we're going to go for ripe pear. And we're going to go for... What other colours have we got? we got some grey right there. We'll buy that one. We'll put that one in. And we're going to go for a... I don't really know. A pink. Yeah, we'll go for a pink wall. We'll put that one in. And we go for a mandarin orange. And we can go in. So what do we got? We got one, two, uh, three and four. Are gonna, no, three, four, five, six, uh, seven. Oh, and then by the door up here is eight. Hmm. I might just go for seven colors and I'll do the, the door up there. The same as one of the other ones. Um, so we'll do laughing strawberry. Put that one in, and we'll also go for Alluring Lavender, that one in, and what else? Oh, let's go with uh, Lime, Lime I think we'll go for, there, right. So let's take my trusty brush and we'll start by doing this wall back here, which I'm going to do with the Lime, and I'm going to do this top and bottom, I'm going to go all the way up through, so I'm going to just grab another load of paint there, so that I can just finish off that one there like that. And then come back through and do this bit up here as well. Do I have enough paint to do all of it? Not quite. Just a tiny little bit more needed. And there we go. Because so, we got that one on lime. It was that one there that I was going to do a different colour. It looks like the tiles there, the stairs, you can't change those at all. There's no alterations on them whatsoever. So we got this purple here. And we'll start by doing it all along this wall. Like this. All the way along there like that. And then we can start working this wall back here. I need to get another load of paint on there. And I can bring that one right away back through here like this. There, yeah, a little bit more. Have we got enough? Nope, not quite enough. Okay, get that bit onto there. And there is that wall done. So then I want... Uh, we're going to go for this one here, for this long wall down through here. And it's going to be the same on the stairwell. I'm going to do the top wall on the stairwell with this colour here. And the wall that I do down the end of this room, that one there, is also going to be the one that we do up there. So you can sort of see both of them at the same time. I'm just going to run up the stairs a second, and we're going to do this wall up here. 
Like this. There we go, all the way along. Probably going to run out for that last... Yeah. Not quite enough to finish that last little bit up there, is it? We come up there and we get that one. There we go. So that's all the way up through. That's done. And then we can start working our way along this wall in here. Get a bit more paint on there and I'll start from that end. And we start working our way all the way down through here. And I'm not really sure where we're going to put all of the furniture in this room. We're going to uh, probably we're going to stick a load of shelves in here. We're definitely putting a bed in and some cupboards like that so that we've got like an extra bedroom in here. I um, Personally, I think that it would be great to have an extra bedroom in the basement. Uh, whether other people would agree with me or not, I don't know. We'll put the orange on this wall here, down here, and we'll also put it around the door upstairs. So, I'll, I'll actually, I'll run up there and I'll do that right now. Let's just go up here. I need to go along the top up there like that. Put that one along there. And those right so we've got orange around there okay this really does look bad you, the whole house is like this there's nowhere in this entire house that you can kind of rest your eyes at all everything is just bright and garish the whole way through the house there is not a single point where you can kind of look away to rest your eyes and that's this it's almost exhausting looking at you you look at it and you think it would be genuinely exhausting to live here purely because you haven't got sort of a, a, a point to look and rest it's all bright all the time. There is no change or variation from constant bright. Now, I've got uh, seven colors here. I've used one, two, three, four, five now because I put pink on there. And I do actually need another color because I got the, the gray there, which I'll do this wall here with. Go all the way along, we'll do a dark gray along this wall. Up through there. And get a bit more on that one. Um, so it's whether or not I have the same colour up in the top corner as I do on the wall right behind me. There, right, we do that there. So I've got this green here. And I'm going to put that one down through there. I've used this green elsewhere, haven't I? I think I did. I don't remember now. Right. So do I buy another coat, another paint to do that last corner in there? Or do I do it? No, I'm going to buy a different paint. I know that we've already, we've doubled up one of the paints. Let's put coffee with milk down there. We used coffee with milk outside, so we had a little bit left over from our tin of paint that we got. Because all we did, in order to be able to paint this house, we went and we went, We needed some paints, but we couldn't afford to buy new paint. We didn't have the money to buy new paint, so we went to a sale. We went to a jumble sale, and we happened to find a job lot of paint. Unfortunately, the job lot of paint was lots and lots of different colours of paint, and that's why we've got the place looking like it is. Um, because it was so many different colours of paint, and we didn't have any really that matched. Um, which is a bit unfortunate. Right, the doors are all the same price. 181. So we'll go for that one. Right there. We're going to put that one in there. That one's going to go like that. There is our door. There is our bathroom, so we just need a... Oh, actually, I need to sell that one. No, I don't want to paint. I want to sell it. There we go. Right. Then I want to go in here, and I want to go to... I want to go back to the bathroom, because I need a toilet paper holder. We're not... We're not, um... Idiots here. We're not, um... I was going to say. Uh... We're not barbarians. We're not philistines. We're not barbarians. We, we, we are... We're, we're very modern and we have standards which means that we're going to need to be able to put lots of those in right survival we've got all this survival stuff here um let's put a canister there down in here that that would be a good thing to put in uh i'm going to put two of those in side by side like that and what else are we going to put we're going to get us get some other stuff here we'll get a first aid kit plonk that one down in there can i put that on top no i can't um I can put it sideways on. I can stuff that one in there. And I'm going to put some shelves in here. So I want to go to... Is it... It's not sh It's not shelving, is it? No. Uh, so it's under cupboards. goes under cupboards. I want that one right there. Steel garage shelf. Uh, garage shelf there. I want that one that's got the timber on it. I put that in there. That's looking good. And then toilet roll. That's what I'm after. Toilet. Okay, I need to go to all. Select all. And then I want to go to toilet. 
toilet paper. This is one we want. We want toilet paper. There. And I want more toilet paper. I want lots of paper. There, we'll put that in there. You'd never run out of paper. You must never run out of paper. Okay, we've got paper there. Because leaves, trust me when I say this, leaves are just not as absorbent as paper. Okay? They, they, they just don't have the same absorbency. It's not as good. And go down through here. Any farmer will tell you the same. Just Well, just about any farm. Most farmers will be able to tell you the same. Um, it's just, you know, one, one of, the, one of the, the sort of things that comes with working on a farm. Um, sometimes you have to find these things out for yourself. We put a green box in there, and I'm going to put a big black box in. Oh, that's a medium box. That's the wrong one. I want that one. I want the big black box, which is that one. And I put that one there right next to it. And then I want a medium black box. Will the boxes go on top of the boxes? It'll go in front of it, but it will not go on top of the box. I feel like I have been conned. It will not go on top of the box. Never mind. If it won't go on top of the box, it won't go on top of the box. We'll take a box with flowers. I want to rotate that one round, actually. There. Okay. I now have boxes. And I have shelving in here. I'm not going to worry about anything else in the bathroom. That is done. I then want to come over to here. And I want to get a bed. This is a very important bit. This is a very, very important feature that we need to put in here. We have a double bed right there. Wood cherry. If we got teak. If we've got teak, I want to get that because they look hideous. I really don't like teak. I mean, I really like wood finish on just about anything. And, but I don't like teak. It just, some reason, the strong contrast of the grain in teak just looks like, I don't know, it's, it's like a hideous 70s throwback. And I really don't like it. I've never liked it, ever. I've, I've, never, I've never liked the, the 70s styles anyway. Um, it's, it's not really for me. Don't think that's going to fit in there. So maybe we'll stick the double bed over here like that. Um, yeah, we'll plonk that one down there and we'll put some shelving in here instead. Two bedrooms, the more the merrier. Um, so we'll go... What do we got down here? Uh, cupboards. Cupboards is what I want. So we'll put a shoe cabinet in here. I'm going to put that one in there like that. That's going to that's gonna be our bedside table, actually. We're going we're gonna to put... Well, it's not quite a bedside table. We're going to put that one there like that. And then we're going to put a coffee table as the bedside table. And where have we got? Uh, lamps. Tables. There we go. Uh, classic. We'll go for a small table there. That is pine. Bench. That looks really bad. Okay. i move that one. There we go. There we go. So that one that one will go in there like that. And I could do with actually. I want to put a lamp on that one. We're going to go here. And then I'm going to go for a lamp. What sort of lamp? That one there, table lamp there, that that one looks rather bad, actually. There. It's cheap as well. Let me turn that one on. I want some more cupboards, which we're going to put back into the corner here. We're going to go for a... I'm going to go for a sideboard. I'm going to take one of these, because I was trying to put one of these upstairs, but it didn't fit. So I'm going to put one of those in there. That's, that's the, the sideboard is going to go right in there into that corner. There we go. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. We're going to put that one in there. And then we're going to go with... We're going to go for that bookcase there. And this one... Glossy grey. Nut. Black. Yellow. Okay, we're going to go for a yellow one of those. Just because it looks terrible. Um, I won't put it back any further. We're going to put that one right there like that. And I want to put something here. Let's try putting... Let's put some pictures. We haven't put any pictures on the walls. We need to have, we need to have pictures. Let's go with that one there. That one looks pretty good. Uh, would it help if we... I wonder if we should put it upside down. You know, just because it, sort of, it sort of shows that, you know, we, we're trying our best with the art, but we don't quite realise which way up it's supposed to be. And no, no. What about that one right there? we go with that one. Picture looking through leaves. That one, it was the right way up. There. We Put that one on there and there. That isn't quite right. It, it looks slightly offset. That's good. That was kind of the effect that I was going for. That is actually a deliberate mistake. Um, is there much else? I don't know if there's very much else that I want to put in here, to be honest. And I mean, we're looking down here. We've got home electronics. Uh, we've got a coffee maker. Can I put a coffee maker in here? Surely I can put a coffee maker on the shelf. It'll let me put it there. Let me put it there. It won't let me put it on. Oh, yes, it will. 
There, got it. Right, nailed it. Put that one on there. Once once it's up there, it 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 uh, it's there to stay. Okay, we're gonna we're just gonna leave that one right up there like that, and over here, oh, I can hold the pick up, but I can't open the doors. Right. Well, we can't put anything in there then. Let's get a. There's something that I want. There is one particular little item that I want. We're going to come down here, and there we go. The donkeys. I want the matching donkeys. We're going to take these, and we're going to put them up on there. Like that. Uh, rotate them around a little bit more like that, so that they're sort of in the corner. There we go. We've got the donkeys on top of that one. Um, we could do with another cupboard. We want something along there. So let's go back to the cupboards and have a look. We kind of want like a long one that will fit long air. What about that one? Office bookshelf. Modern TV cabinet. Let's try that. White. Burned beet. There we go. That look, That's proper 70s hideous rubbish. Absolute. Yeah. Look at that. It looks awful. That looks genuinely terrible in there. Um, so we'll move that one along a little bit. It really does look bad. Um... Where can I put this one? I'm going to try and put it as far into there as I can. There we go. That looks really awful. That really does look terrible. And the most inconvenient way to put a TV in here would be if I went home electronics down there. And then I go all the way down to the TV like this. And I buy that one. Uh, nope. 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 I want to do that. And then I want to rotate it round a little bit. Sort of like that. So it's, it's like you, you kind of got it and you want to watch it in bed, but you, you're not going to be able to quite see it very well. It's just going to look bad. And then you can never have too many TVs and speakers. Uh, tables. I want tables. I'm going to turn this into... We've already got one office here, haven't we? I'm going to try and get another office if we can. What have we got in the way of office? We don't have anything there. Is it de Oh, it's desks. We've got we to actually have a desk. Uh, corner desk. Desk Anna. What's this? What colour have we got? Red? Oh, no. Um, no. What about this computer desk? What have we got on here? We got, uh, steel bench. Wood cherry looks pretty bad, and that really wouldn't fit with the rest of this room at all. Hmm. What's brown do? Hmm. No. I, th I think we'll go with this one, and we'll go with wood cherry, because that doesn't look good in here at all. That looks terrible. So I'm going to put that one there, and then I'm going to take, I'm going to, we're going to get a chair to go with it. And we're going to have a, I'm going to go with that chair. That, that chair is perfect for it. There could be no better chair for that computer desk. Put that one on there. And then we need uh, home electronics. So we're going to go for a computer right there. That one, it would probably help if I had it turned around that way like that. There we go. And we want a monitor. We're definitely not having an expensive monitor. We'll put that one there on. These, that is a... <laughs> that is a big monitor. That is a very big monitor. Um, <laughs> that's brilliant. I like it. Right, we want a mouse there. Why on earth would you use a cordless mouse? Really? Why, why, would, why would you want to use a cordless mouse? I hate cordless mice. I really, really hate cordless mice. They, they really do. You, you get so much lag between them input and the, the computer responding to it. It's terrible. I hate it. I really, really despise cordless mice. Um, have, I, have I mentioned that I'm not a fan of cordless mice? I, I, I may not have mentioned that to anybody. We're going to want more shelving in here, I think. I think we want more shelves. Uh, cupboards. I know I said previously I wanted more TV inches than I've got shelves. Um, but I still think we should try for at least a bookcase in here. Let's... let's what about that one there? That's that's Venge. Um, wood cherry, grey. That looks fairly grubby, actually. That would be good. Let's go with that one. That that looks that looks grubby. It's too kind of too big. It sticks out. Okay, my work here is done. I think. Look at this. Look at this hideous room. This room is um, probably the worst one of the lot. It's it's not looking good. I'm gonna go over this way. There we go. There is my room. Can I can I crouch down? I can. I can crouch a little bit so I can show off my room. There is my room. That is the, the, the basement room that we have created. I'm going to go up here. And I'm not going to worry about putting shelves on or anything like that. So that is the house. We've got that one down there with the bathroom that we've done. We've got this bathroom up here. I don't have like loads of extra bits and pieces all around the house. Uh, like on the walls. We've got plenty of furniture in here. Furniture is not in short supply. 
Um, so we're going to come on out here. And we're going to take a look at the house from this direction. Down here, look at that. Look at that. How would you like to live next door to that? Me? Not so much. Not a big fan. Right. So we need to go to sell the house, which is press F, uh, F, E, uh, enter. Right. Are you sure you want to sell the house? Yes. Start the auction. Right. Giorgio Shauna. I don't understand what I need this kitchen for. Right. Well, he doesn't. 105,000. Wow. Okay. We're starting off pretty. It's, it's, we're going pretty slickly on this. Pictures add character to the house. I wanted one bedroom, not two. I like that I have a place to sleep. I want a bedroom in my house, but only one. I want to rent this house to two people, so it'd be great if they'll have a place to sleep. They do. There's a there's a bedroom downstairs. Expensive items in a house for rent is a bad idea. What if the tenants damage them? I suppose we did have some expensive items there, didn't we? The Smoth family, they're, they're not keen. Big bedroom is another point for you. I prefer other types of things than those for babies. Why did you put them here? 137,000. Profit 102. Oh, yeah, because we got furniture sold, 43,000. Uh, let's negotiate an offer with him. And 137, I think, if we can push him up by about that, negotiate. 3,700. 3,000, cool, I'll take it. Ideal, so we've now gone up to house sale, 130, yep. Added, added that in, so profit of 105. Um, 69, so house sale, 140. We doubled the price that we paid for it. We doubled the price that we paid for this house. And I, I went through and I made like a bad looking house. They don't seem to care what it looks like. They really don't. Uh, so yeah, we'll accept that. 105,000 profit because of the 43,000 in furniture that we got. Um, it was the Van Gogh painting that we found. And it was, I was told that it was Van Gogh. Uh, Achievement unlocked alpha male. Okay. Um... We had that painting that we found in the hidden room in the basement and it was apparently it was a Van Gogh and um, it, it was the Starry Night by Van Gogh. I did correctly identify the artist. I didn't recognize what the painting was called. Um, I'm not much into art. I've got to be honest. I don't know very much about it. So um, it's, it's all a bit of a mystery to me. But we now have one hundred and eighty two thousand uh, pounds. Three males. OK, we don't want males. We want the browser. Now, with £182,000, we are actually able to buy everything except for that great big house right there, which is the Just Married's house. And this is the one that you can actually paint all the way up to the top. It is possible. Um, there was a picture, someone showing how they did it. I don't know how they did it. They, they had to get inventive with it, apparently. I'm not quite sure. They probably put furniture outside and climbed on that or something. Um, so we have got... Uncle's bunker here. So there's a bunker hidden in that house. Large safe house with a doomsday bunker. Uh, there, we don't want the pink kingdom. We've got the old house with a bunker here. I don't know if the bunker is downstairs or if it's just the house is the bunker. But no, this is the one that I actually wanted to go for first. I wanted to try this one here. This is part of the bunker, the nuclear fallout DLC or whatever it is. I'm not quite sure what it is. Uh, you bought a new house. We're going to go. We're going to go and take a look at this. Um, we got enough time to... We, we, I'm not doing the longest of episodes today. Um, by which I mean I'm. it's going to be a bit shorter than um, some. But yeah, we've, we've got a... Basically, we've got a garage here right now. And who is that person there? They look like they're wearing a gas mask. Maybe they are. So we want to come along here and we're going to take a look. So we've just basically we've got a garage and then you've got this doomsday bunker. So what is this? <gasps> is that like a separate thing? The bunker is actually separate to the to the rest of it. Let's look in here. Look, you got you got the TV, you got the garage open. Oh. We cut nice. This is all this is all stuff for storage, this is. We got we got some stuff that we need to dispose of there. Um let's, let's go in here. And we've got um like a shower sort of room in here. And you come into this bit. We've got uh, so the storage there. This is a this could be a bathroom. We're gonna need to do this up to become a bathroom here. And we come in here. and then that's how you get out into the garden over there. Oh, this is very cool. Very, very cool. And I know that um, in the States, you guys tend to be a lot more into survival, uh, like the long-term survival sort of stuff, than we, ha we are here in the UK. Um, 
and like uh, self sufficiency, but not just self sufficient. I think you. What do you call it? Um, off grid living. You call it. Um, I think. You, well, I think that's what you call it. Uh, but yeah, you, you you seem to be more into it than we are here in the UK. We we do like small holding and stuff like that. Um, but it doesn't seem to be as popular here in the UK as it is over in the States. And you guys, um, things like your preservation of food. Now, you, you come down through here and we have a look at the, the food that you got here. Like these here. You've got all these pickles and you've got various beans and stuff stored in these types of jars here. These jars are very popular in the States. They're not that popular here in the UK. You do get some, don't get me wrong. You, you do get them around, but... Um, just not as many as we do. Ooh, ooh, we've we've got a we've got a cockroach nest there. Right, let's get rid of that. I got various bits of food, um, and and the way that you preserve food in jars like this, and I mean I don't just mean like any food. I mean I've seen like videos of how this your food is preserved, and you you like you're cooking whole roast dinners and sticking them in jars, so and they'll keep for like five ten years in these jars, which is. Absolutely, it is absolutely brilliant. It's just something that you guys have gotten into in a big way over in the States that hasn't really caught on as much over here in the UK. I mean, jam seems to be the big thing. We make jams and pickles, but that's it. We don't, we, nobody bothers with any of the other stuff. Um, and so we don't have the kind of facility that you have in the States for doing all this food preservation that you guys really get into. And I do think it's a bit of a shame. So I, I do like really appreciate that. And this seems to be like it's, it's like a thing here that's going on. It's a big theme with this um, bunker that we've got here. That it's all about uh, long-term food preservation and uh, prepping. It's um, well, just preppers. Pe pe the people are known as preppers, um, where you're basically you're prepping for something bad that might happen in the future. Um, and it could be extremely bad. It could be any any kind of like serious bad event that could happen in the future and you're basically you're, you're preparing for it you you're putting in food supplies and stuff like that just getting ready for something really really bad that might go down at some point in the future and there are there is a community of preppers here in the uk as well and it's just not as big as it is in the states in the states it's a lot more widely accepted and seems to be a lot more widely understood as well um or at least from what I've seen, I'm, I mean, I've not done like masses of research onto the subject. I've sort of looked into it a little bit because it is a subject that interests me. Um, just food preservation and uh, surviving off grid and things like that is um, something that does interest me from time to time. Do I? Can I sell this car? Which is this car? I can sell the car for seventeen hundred if I so choose. I might do that. Uh, do I sell? The, can we buy the car back? The bike is 67. I'm not sure if I should sell the car or not. Do I? Don't I? Do I? Don't I? I'm not going to sell the car. I'm going to keep the car. I'm going to pick the car up because I'm Superman and I can do that. There we go. Look at that. I can pick up a car and I can move it because I'm just that awesome. Right, these tires are no good. Tires are useless. We'll get rid of them. And we'll also get rid of this stuff here. Although, you shouldn't really get rid of all... Excuse me, I got the hiccups. Uh, you shouldn't really get rid of all your old tyres because the rubber on the tyres can actually be quite handy for all sorts of different things. Um, but uh, yeah, we won't worry about that right now. So let's go for a little bit of cleaning. I'm not going to do very much more on this one now. We're, we're going to um, stop this in a minute. And we are going to go to hold and switch to move objects. All right. Um, we're going to be carrying this one on next time. So we, we're going to... Um, we've got our fallout shelter down below and i like the fallout shelter i do i really love the fallout shelter but my issue is that it's all concrete and it looks quite poor actually it doesn't look like it's loved it doesn't look like the person who created it wanted to spend any length of time in it and i thought the whole idea of the um the prepping and it's, it's not just prepping i mean you you got basically what you got there is you got a, a bug it's well, I was going to say it's like a bug out shelter, but it's not a bug out shelter. I think it's it, is it literally just a bu it's bug out or bug in, isn't it? Um, you you, you basically you've, you've made it this one. It's not a bug out shelter, which is ba it, the bug out is where you go if something about is something bad is about to go down. If there's something um, 
really bad about to happen in the area, then you pack everything up that you own or that you're going to need for your survival and you get out of dodge. You go straight to your place that has been prepared and you that's the point that you get to in order to be able to stay safe. So you just that's, that's all you need to do. So you just get there so that you're safe with minimal fuss and as rapidly as possible, avoiding any potential roadblocks or anything like that. So it's, it's carefully planned out beforehand and it's, it's all prepared. Not everybody has a bug out point or a bug out shelter. A lot, some people will have several, several, some preppers will have several of these, uh, but not everybody has them. Some people um, have actually prepared so that they, um, that they'll just basically, they'll hunker down right where they are. And that is what this one is all about. We're going to hunker down right where we are. Uh, should should the event happen, then it's literally just hunker down here and um, see how things go. We will just hope that we can survive right where we are. So we've got the we've got the shelter and it is reasonably well hidden. Hopefully, there's plenty of supplies. Oh, we've got a new cleaning skill. We want plenty of supplies. Right, see all dirt. Seventy five percent. I'm going for see all dirt. I think that would be the most useful one. Look, see, there's dirt over here already that I missed. That's probably on those tires, isn't it? Uh, oh, no, there's some there, and there's some back there. There's another bit here, a bit on that shelf. There we go, that's all the dirt now. Now we're talking. And then there's some up there. Yeah. So you got these people who, we're basically going to, um, we're not bugging out, we're, we're, uh, like, uh, you're hunkering down right where you are. I'm not quite sure. I can't remember what the term was that they used for that. Um, there was a, a specific term for people who stayed in one spot. Um, but that's what you do. You, you're preparing for the worst. You're, you're expecting the worst to happen. Um, and you're preparing for the worst and hoping for the best. This is kind of like you're being prepared for things that might go wrong. You're not hoping for them, though. You're hoping that it doesn't actually happen and you don't have a load of bad things happen to you. But just in case they do, you're at least prepared for them. You're ready. You're not going to... The bad things are not going to happen to you and yours because you will be ready. There's a cobweb here that I cannot get rid of. There is a cobweb somewhere here that I can't find or get rid of. I, I don't know if... I don't think it's up there. Right in front of me. It's right in front of me and I can't see it. I don't know. It's, it's gone. It is gone now. So let's come down in here and we'll start cleaning up this room. Uh, there's not very much in here, really. We've just got those bits down there. And then there's a cobweb up in that corner. And then we can come into here and get this. But, I mean, look at this. My point is that the person who's designed this would have designed it with the um, aim of staying here. That they may actually want to lock the doors and live in here for a couple of years. Right now, if you're living in here for a couple of years, I, look around you. Is this, is this really where you want to live for a couple of years? Because I wouldn't. This isn't for me. Not not for, If i got to live here for a couple of years, I want it to look a little bit better than just grey concrete everywhere. I don't like the idea of grey concrete everywhere. It's, it's just not pleasant. Now, we need to pull out the vacuum cleaner to clean these up. Look at them. Look at them. Ugh. Nasty little critters they are. The last thing you want if you've got a bug out shelter um, or any, any kind of shelter is to have a whole load of these nasty little things around. We do not want these. Right. Um, I can't get under there to get the last of them. You might have to move. Enough cockroaches were eliminated. You destroyed the cockroach nest. Okay. That's fine. Let me move that one over there. That is out of the way. Oh, cockroach nest is gone now. So we don't need to worry about that one anymore. Let me go back to cleaning. And we'll just get that little bit there. So when we come back next time, we're going to start decorating the fallout shelter. We're going to put in a proper bathroom in here. And I'm going to make this place... Uh, see, getting it, de decorating a place and making it look perfect for everybody is nigh on impossible. Right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and I'm going to make this place look as nice as possible for me. I'm going to want to live in this place when I finished. Right, if if the worst happens, if if the um if if the event goes down, if if um and we gotta get out of dodge or at least like climb underneath dodge, uh then I'm gonna make sure that I want to live here. I'm going to want to live in this place down here and it's gonna be comfortable. I'm I'm going to enjoy my stay here. I'm not gonna be in here and thinking that I'm stuck in a prison. I do not want to be stuck in a prison. 
Now we got one item there that I actually need to dispose of like that and that is everything has been cleaned. Okay, if you've enjoyed the episode then please hit down below and give us a like and if you really enjoyed it then please tell your friends all about me, get them to come and watch as well, that would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching, this is Frithgar, goodbye and see you later.